Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here at the workbench. The wood of the day is American white oak. As you can see, I'm using my single blade homemade jack plane. And it's working beautifully. White oak is a hardwood. It's not one of those softer woods like red oak. I can even get nice fine shavings with my smoother. The only difference between these two planes, remember, is the amount of space between the mouth and the blade edge and how fine I have it set. Okay? And then, there's the modern day jack plane. I can take a heavy cut. Knock that sucker down real quick. Or I can back it up. And take a fine smoothing shaving where I'm planing more air than wood. There's a couple tricks to working white oak. Here's a smoothing cut. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yes, I am working edge grain. And yes, we can do the same thing on the face grain. This side's already been done. This side is right off of a power planer. It's got little ridges in it. So first, I would usually use a jack plane on it, but because it is already power planed and flat, I can go right at it with the smoother. And all we, you can hear that, it's jumping over those little, listen, those little bumps from the power planer was left behind. It always amazes me the amount of work we did early on and we we sanded it but there were always these little power planer marks left and they were accepted. But it's not right. You take a smoothing plane to it and you work all of those little marks out. And that's ready for finish. That board's ready for finishing. Wow. Can you see the, gl the gloss on it? See that? See the shine? That's ready for oiling or varnish. If you want it to stain wood like this, I would recommend after planing to take some 150 or 180 grit sandpaper and just give it a nice even couple of passes. That'll open the pores up a little bit to accept the stain. If you're too smooth, sometimes stain will not take. Now, about oak, white oak especially, you notice I was planing in this direction, on this side. If I would have tried that on this side, I'd be going against the grain. The other thing that's kind of curious about oak and other porous woods uh, that have ray fleck in them, sometimes maple will show this too and a few other woods, but you have See these black little lines? You see that in beech too. That's the medullary rays. Okay, you see them all kind of going through here, almost like a weather pattern map you would see. You know, you see these little lines. They are an indicator as the direction you need to plane. So on this edge here, 
I would want to be planing in this direction. It's more of an indicator than the actual grain line itself. Let me see if I can show you an example. See here the grain line is kind of showing it. this should be planed this way. But in reality it planes better in this direction. So you have to read your grain, but oak especially, watch those reflex. And what those reflex will do is when you get into quarter sawn, like this, those reflex will actually show up as flats, flat spots. You see that? See the reflex in here? This is riven wood. This is red oak, but it's been riven. And you take advantage of the ability to split the board and get all quartered material out of it. You don't see that very much with um, sawn lumber. You see how even the grain is going all the way through? That makes for an incredibly strong and stable wood. So that's about it for today. Today's topic was white oak. Reading the grain, and uh, polishing the surface. Hope you found this helpful, useful, maybe entertaining. Head out in your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out.